So, Mr. Marquez, the state is alleging that you violated condition number two of your conditions of probation. And they are alleging that on or about the 18th day of December 2023 in Bear County, Texas, you did then and there illegally use marijuana, an illegal substance. Is that true or not true, Mr. Marquez? True, Your Honor. Ms. Thompson, we have a true plea from Mr. Marquez. What is the state seeking today? Your Honor, the state is recommending uh, Jay Satting uh, to offer a Jay Sat. He served 31 days in Bear County Jail, credit for time served, zero dollar fine, court costs, time and money to run concurrently. And if it pleases the court, this will be a judgment satisfied. And does he have any additional days as opposed, is it the 31 days all inclusive? Correct, Your Honor. Correct, Your Honor. Okay. And uh, I'll hear from the uh, court liaison officer, Officer Martinez for Bear County Adult Probation. Ms. Officer Martinez, what is adult probation recommending? And could you give the court a brief summary of Mr. Marquez's overall compliance with his conditions of probation? Yes, Your Honor, probation is recommending revocation. He has two new offenses pending. Um, he does have 31 days of credit. During his time on probation, he was ordered by another court to do anger management, and he completed that in March. He does have a positive marijuana um, positive marijuana test. He provided information to his attorney that he has a prescription. However, that was not approved through the court, um, and his case expires in September. For these reasons, probation is recommending revocation, and we're fine with the 31 days of credit. And Ms. Morales, I'll hear from you last. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Marquez has completed uh, the class that was required by the judge that put him on probation. Um, he has made a payment to probation as well. Um, as far as the new charges, uh, there are some defenses good defenses in those cases that will probably be set for trial and are still pending at this time. Um, he is currently on a GPS monitor for his new charges, so he will still be monitored um, if the court agrees to the JSAT on this case. Okay, give me a minute here. Has anybody watched I Am a Stalker on Netflix? Okay, you should. I've watched it. You, who's watched it? I have, Your Honor. Okay, I have as well, Judge. Okay, well, this is what happens when law enforcement and the judicial system does not take these types of behaviors seriously. The behaviors escalate, and now he's he's facing more charges. And the message that we give defendants like him when we judgment satisfy him for 31 days is that, eh, this behavior doesn't concern us. Y'all just do what you want with each other and you're done with us. And that's not the type of justice that I think the citizens of Bear County deserve. I think the citizens of Bear County want people held accountable, even for stalking behavior, which escalates into hostage taking, it can escalate into all sorts of other illegal behaviors. He's already accused of repeating behaviors that fall under family violence definitions. I am not going to approve this agreement. I am accepting the defendant's true plea for violation of condition number two. No. Initially in the motion, the state had played all other sorts of violations, but they decided to just go with one. And that is uh, the using of marijuana on or about the 18th day of December of 2023 is pled by the state. The court is granting the state's motion to uh, revoke his probation and the court is finding him guilty of the violation of protective order offense alleged to have occurred on the 11th day of July of 2023 in case number 712619. Mr. Marquez, when I told you that the range of punishment for this offense was 365 days, that is what the law allows me to do. 
And they wouldn't give me that that discretion if if I wasn't allowed to do it. And if the state legislators and executive branch didn't think that that was the appropriate sentence for this type of behavior. I'm here to dole out justice equitably and equally to everyone and make sure you got you get due process. You got due process. You got probation. That was your second chance at doing something right. And you go and you do this. That's a slap in the face of the people of Bear County. You took advantage of the court's grace, generosity. And so today, the court's going to hold you accountable. I'm going to make sure you remember what the consequences are for that type of behavior. And hopefully, hopefully, Mr. Marquez, it acts as a deterrent when you are at a crossroads and are having to make a decision about whether you should stalk somebody or follow them or call them incessantly or text them. And who knows what else you're alleged of committing with the other cases, because I don't know what those other cases are pending. Today, sir, you're going into custody. Uh, the court is sentencing you to 340 days. We're giving you credit for your anger management class. I'm going to zero you out on a fine. You're ordered to take care of court costs. You will get credit for 31 days at the Bear County Jail, and your time and money will run concurrent. Good luck to you, sir. Everyone is excused. Your Honor, may I, may I um, add to this? Sure. The violation of the bond protective order, Your Honor, is the case that he was on probation for. It arose from different cases that were dismissed. Um, the, there was no allegation of any stalking. Um, the new cases that he has picked up are assault cases, um, and he has not with a different uh, complainant as well, Your Honor. Okay. Well, that's concerning that it's not just one person. It's now multiple people, one, and two. Those arguments should have been made before he took a plea on this case. If he was innocent of things, then why did he agree to probation? Those are questions that will linger and need to be answered if people want things reviewed. People don't take a plea if they didn't do something. I don't take a plea if someone comes to me and says, I didn't do it, Judge. I don't take a plea. Then we give you a trial. Make sure you get a day in, uh, in court to argue your innocence. He took a plea on this, Ms. Morales. He's guilty today, and he's to be taken into custody, and he's going to go and serve his sentence and pay his debt to his victim and to the people of Bear County. Good luck to you, sir. Now? Now we can. Okay, I don't know what happened. All I did was turn my head. Um, so he's got 11 to 19, again. 21 items to review, Mr. Brown, on, on the conditions that where he was ordered to comply with back on August 29th of 2023. My order is that he is to be in 100% compliance with those conditions. He got his second chance and he can't make it work, Mr. Brown. I'm giving him a week to make it work. As a matter of fact, I'm scheduling a compliance hearing today. We're going to extend him. We're going to show some grace to him, Mr. Brown. But he needs to be in 100% compliance within a week. And we're going to check on him in person. Sybil, I need him put back on the docket. Can we do it next Tuesday? Okay. So he's ordered to appear next week on a compliance hearing, which means you don't have to come in, Mr. Brown. Okay. It's just to review his progress. There'll be no adverse action taken. But if he's not in compliance, we're going to set him again for another MTR. I think I'm being pretty clear. Is there anything you do not understand, Mr. Pimentel? No, ma'am, I understand it all. All of it? Yes, ma'am. 100%? Yes. yes what happens if you do not comply? Tell me what you understand will happen to you. Uh, get the MTR, I'll get sentenced. And what do you think the sentence is going to look like? Pretty, uh, probably the whole year. Okay. So you've got a good idea of what the, the ramifications of this can be, right? Yes, ma'am. Look, Mr. Pimento, I want to see you succeed. I take no pleasure in having to hold people accountable. Every time someone cannot comply, I'm extremely disappointed. You know why? Because we showed grace and we, we approved probation and you challenge the integrity of the process. It's, it only works when everybody complies. And honestly, you make the court look foolish 
for believing in you. And the court is the people of Bear County. So you make the whole county look foolish for believing in you. That's your neighbors, your family, people across the street, the people you work with, because that's who you're answering to. That's who I work for, including you and your attorney. Be better, Mr. Pimento. I know you're capable of being better. I want you to leave this process a better man than when you entered it. Take care of your business, Mr. Pimento. We'll see you next week. Everyone is excused. Your Honor, what happens to the TIC case? I'm gonna, it's going to be TIC'd once he completes his probation. I'll put that in the order. The state agreed to dismiss it. They'll dismiss it when he completes his probation. I'll put that in the order. Anything else from anyone else? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Everyone is excused. I'll be back. Thank you.